All right, today we are talking all about a brand new accessory that I got. No, it is not my new ZVE one. It's actually the S63 rotating plate from Ulanzi. Let's get right into it. All right, so I've been trying to perfect my everyday carry or my minimal carry lately and looking for something like an L mount or what I've discovered recently, these rotating mounts. And what you can see here is my Sony ZV-E1. It is fitted with this new rotating mount from Ulanzi called the S63. So let me give you a closer look here if you're not familiar with what a rotating mount is. So let's go ahead and take this off the tripod. What we've got here is my Sony ZV-E1. We have the mount attached to the bottom. We have a plate that goes to the camera itself. And then we've got this additional plate here. This is what creates that rotating effect. So I can turn the plate full 90 degrees. It clicks into place. And because of this rotating bracket, it allows me to instantly switch between portrait and vertical shooting. And for a lot of you creators out there, this is really going to be helpful. So one of the reasons why I did get this mount is I am trying to create a more minimal, lightweight travel setup for video shooting. And the best thing about this particular mount is that it works perfectly with my ZV-E1. It allows plenty of space for the different lenses I want. And again, this instant rotation is really nice. So let's get a little bit closer to the camera and talk about build quality. It is made incredibly well, smooth edges. The build material is incredibly sturdy. It is all metal and you can hear from the satisfying click that it locks into place incredibly well. So one thing here that I will call out that sets it apart from some of the competitors on the market, let's say the Atoll, which I think was maybe the original, but this has a lens release button here. That was a big complaint with some of the original designs back in the day that it made it impossible to really reach that lens release button. Well, now it's built into the mount itself, so you can easily mount and dismount your different lenses. And then another thing you're gonna notice is this tightening ring right here. I can tighten it, it locks the camera in place, but when you loosen it, it enables you to easily spin and click it. And I think that's mostly it about this mount. It's a pretty simple and elegant design. And because of that, it makes it really easy to add to my regular workflow or keep on my Sony ZV-E1. So a couple things that I will mention is this is Arca Swiss compatible. I have my PGY Tech Mantis pod here and the mount fits perfectly into this tripod. And the best thing is once I've got it onto the tripod, I can easily rotate, I can drop my screen down, I can shoot vertical content just like that. Another thing that's really nice is this also works on my Peak Design travel tripod, which also has a relatively large Arca Swiss compatible entry point. And the other thing I like about this Ulanzi S63 rotating mount is that you can have the mount plate on top so that you can hang this from an overhead rig. I've been shooting a lot of Tesla related content recently, so I have a suction cup in my Tesla mounted from the roof, and I can easily connect that using the Ulanzi F22 mounting plate, or if you've got something that's Arca Swiss compatible, you can easily just click that into the top hanging mount. And Ulanzi also makes multiple variants of this rotating mount. So this is the S63. This is designed more for the small full frame camera. So what I have here is the Sony ZV-E1, the newly released kind of mini FX3. This will work really well on an A7C or a Sony ZV-E10. And there are larger versions of this rotating mount for our bigger cameras like the FX3 or the A7R5. A7 IV, etc. What I really like about those versions is they do have some additional mounting attachments. Some of them have the F22 mount built right in as well as the Arca Swiss plate, so you can easily add a side handle or mount it from a magic arm. This is a pretty unique system, and I will say having tested a lot of the Ulanzi products lately, I feel like I'm shifting over more and more to a Ulanzi shop. I'm using their rotating mount, I'm using their Arca Swiss plates, I'm using a lot of their F22 plates for the vehicle. So I will say that as I've been using more and more of these Ulanzi accessories, I find myself switching over to mostly Ulanzi. This rotating plate has been incredible. It comes at a great value. I've been using the Arca Swiss quick release plates that they have, this entire F38 
system right here. And I've also switched over to the F22 system, which allows me to quick release smaller accessories. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this rotating mount. I bought this ZV-E1 as a kind of run and gun cinematic camera setup for vertical, horizontal vlog YouTube. And with this mount, it's really nice and convenient how easy it is. I can just throw it on any of my travel tripods switch it over to a vertical mode, shoot something for Reels or YouTube Shorts, and then switch it right back to finish a video for YouTube. And that is it, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to my actual setup. It's easy to install and uninstall, and so far I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys like this, check out the link in the description below, pick yourself up one. It's a pretty inexpensive compared to some of the other ones out there, and the build quality is honestly pretty solid, the little button for lens release is a game changer for those of you that are coming from a system that has historically blocked that button or made it very difficult to release your lens. All right, that is it. I will catch y'all in the next one.